turn and shift to the other side. to both sides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Touch your head to the floor or as far as you can go. Yes, sir. Make sure the legs are straight. One, sir. Two, Two sir. Three, three, sir. Four, four sir. Five, six, six, six sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Thirty, sir. Last stretch. Feet straight out front. Yes, sir. Bend one leg back and lean back. Well, we reviewed the drunken session yesterday, I mean, yesterday, Monday, 
and some of the dragons. We're going to do the same thing today. Make sure we're all solid on those things. Get some of those details. If you know it well, then catching these details shouldn't be difficult. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So if you already know it, don't uh, tune out. Make sure you're listening so that you can catch those extra details. All right. Is it thin? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thin, tall? Yes, yes sir. sir. I would like to see the first one. Jackie, do you mind leading the first one? Sir. Uh, stop. that much again. And one thing that I want to focus on first, one of the tips that we focused on last class was how we open the hand. We don't want to be loose with the hand, right? Because if I'm going to knock Billy over, I have to use my head and my arm or my shoulder. Right? So if I come and step, up, step to Billy like this to knock him over, I can't come in with a limp arm. Right? I have to come stiff so I can knock him over my knee. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so with that being said, when you do it, you want to pretend you have two plates in your hands and you have to slide them past each other. So it has to be flat. So when you open, it's not just loose, it's from here, it's a straight line. And it goes with the body, the whole body moves. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's not just the arm by itself, it's not just the arms. Once you get here, you step into your horse stance, and then you push. Boom. All of it goes at once. I did all that off camera. OK, now let's try it again. So, let's hit the stance. Yes, yes sir. Stand tall. Yes, yes sir. Five animals loose. Five animals loose. Two tires, how to Two tires, how to trap. Let's tame the tiger, shoot the tiger. Tame the tiger, shoot the tiger. Eight. Dragon stretches the claws. 
Put the star with the fist. Put the star with the fist. This is a palm. Yes, sir. Try on the flute. 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 Here's what we're going to do. Uh, if you know all of what we just did, I want you to practice that. If you don't, I want you to try what you know so that we can see where everybody is and how everything looks. And that'll give me something to pull from. Okay, go ahead, give it a try. Sure. Sure. Y'all can space out as well. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's do drawing one more time, and I want you to catch, catch the detail. So we cross one, two, and our arms are here, right? Three and four. We're going to open, boom. Cross one, two, three, four, opening. Just one finger, ask a question. There's a first star punching method. Second 
Sir. Yes, sir. Five and two. Five and two. Two tire tire trail. Two tire tire trail. Ten tire shoot the tire. Ten tire shoot the tire. Eight. 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 Review and do new motions.
hold it in two places like this. And you have to slide past each other when you open. Right, you're here. Yes, and then I want you to be careful of overextension. So you, once it's not comfortable anymore, once you feel a strain or you feel the end of your of your motion, that's not that's too far. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Right. So you, what we're trying to do is we want to get you in the habit of good body mechanics and go hyperextending or overextending for certain motions has no purpose, right? So if I go one, two, three, four, I, here when I do my uh, uh, what's it called bridge arm. Right? Straight but not straight, bent but not bent. That's what I'm doing. And then I keep the fit the here as though there's a there's a surface here. And then when I open, I keep the bridge arm. It doesn't change, nor does it change it's it doesn't twist either. Neither of the fists twist, neither of the fists relax or come out. So you know if your fist moves, that's because you were trying to make way for a motion, you know, a range of motion you didn't need. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So after I open, one, two, three, four, and I'm here getting ready to open. There's a roundness here in the arms. It doesn't need to change, nor does, nor does the position of the fist. So I'm gonna shift, boom, and it has to stay flat the entire time as if I had a plate of food on it. Is your plate of food upright? Look at your own fist. So twist the fist, make sure it's flat. If you need to twist it a little more, mm, flat fist, boom. And you think, oh man, why are we focusing on these details so much? Because it's intent. When you have intent, the motion changes. If I step into the person with the intent of knocking them over, chances are I'm gonna get a little over eager, not quite focused on the motion, and I'm gonna do a little too much. I'm probably gonna mess up and miss. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if I get there and just do the motion correctly, as I know how, right? Boom, boom, and wave the body as if they're not there, they will sure it will surely work. So it's, all, it's kind of like intent. If I see a person standing here, and I know I want to hit them on the chin, and I just reach for the chin, I'm always just going to tap their chin. If I see their chin, and I want to punch past their chin, boom, then you boom, right? They get stunned or knocked out. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So it's, it's about intent. When you focus on, my intent is to move this knuckle this way, diagonally, and keep this fist flat. It doesn't matter what's here. Boom. And then the motion works. Does that make sense? Yes. It's yes. an intent. So you want to make sure that those, those details make a difference. So open the arm, turn it, and shift open as much as you can. Let's see it. Then everybody do those first, those first two moves. Eight drunken gods and old man exits the cave. Let me see. Okay, stay there. So make your stands a little bit bigger, and you want to open up. You have to open and look. Uh, yes, yes. Almost. Make it a little bigger if you can. Uh -huh. And then really sink into the hip. The turn the body this way. The other way. Sink. Uh -huh. And twist. Look. Okay. Good. Good. Keep it. Yes, sir. Now come over and we'll help yourself. You'll help. I'll help you help yourself in the mirror. So spread out come over here. I know you're all trying to stay off stream. Come on. So y'all can see yourself and have space. From here, we're gonna step out, and I want you to do your shift, and I want you to check your arms. Look at your arms. So this, this, look how the shoulders really up overextended up here. Relax that. It's just down. Uh -huh. Right as if you were like, ah, ah, ah. So stop. Boom. So we're opening. Since the body is tilted, it's the same motion. Just. So posing is, is weird, but it does help you get the motion. Because once you get to the end, you'll, you'll get there and you're like, ah, no. And then you'll, it'll happen naturally. All right, so I'm going to give you an opportunity. Try those moves on your own. Go all the way to hook a star with a fist if you know that much. 
I want you to focus on doing those motions that I just talked about correctly. So make sure you're still open because that wasn't just for him, that was for everybody. Right, make sure you're here, you're opening, and the hip has to sink, right? So if you have a high stance, it looks a little awkward. <laughs> it just reminds me of this though, just here. It has to sink. Uh, one finger has to punch in is here. We want to get that kind of close to the face. You don't want it to be too far out, it's here. One finger has to question, and then coming down here. Right? So if you have one finger has to question up correctly, punch it up, make it flex the wrist back. Drop your elbow some, see, right? And so the, the block is here. If you're not actually blocking your head, step by step, feet together. You're not blocking your face. You've already blocked your face. It's evasive. What you did was you touched whatever it was and then you moved. So whatever it was that was punching you isn't coming to your face anymore, it's over here. And it's controlled by this. At least got it away from my face, does that make sense? So it's one finger I ask the question is one finger Ask the question, you gotta duck the punch. If the punch is here, catch and move, right? So now one thing I have to question, you have to take that same fist and push down on it and break the arm. Does that make sense? Sure. So you caught it at the wrist, push down on the wrist and come up with the other one. If you don't break it, just injure it, hit it real hard. Boom, <clears throat> and you have to pass each other. Boom, if they don't pass, you don't get the break. That's why I was trying to get you to do the, the swing, huh? And knuckles are up. Exactly, the knuckles are up and they're passing. And when they end, they both end the same. Both palms are facing down. Right? So one, boom, break. Uh -huh. Push and break. Let them pass each other. Uh -huh. Try again. So less twist. So you don't want you don't want it to you don't want them to twist like twist around each other. You want to already have them rotated. This one's here, from here, because you have the fist here, you have to hold it. So one finger's up like this, this fist comes down. And when that fist comes down, this one starts coming. This one's guiding, start shifting. Uh -huh. Keep that here, keep shifting. Shift all the way to the other stance. So now you're in your other stance, and you've got to thrust that hip, and bring that back hand up, that's correct. And then same thing here, back fist, which is also a block, this is mostly blocking, block. You're gonna catch that, you know, catch that fist because you're catching it. Pull down, shift, and pop. But make sure your fist is you have to go opposite each other. That's right. And then two fists uh, continually punching down. Boom, boom. And then immediately punching upward. Boom. Yes. Yes. But that's the last part is to keep that back. Keep this hand up. Keep it above the head. Yeah, because if you're blocking a punch and catching in the chin, just in case you have to grab that hand or you want to come right back down, which is what we do in the forearm, you're gonna come up, boom, and you can come right back down, boom, to the same spot you just punched. Hit uppercut, boom, hit the ribs. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So it's bouncing, boom, boom. It's supposed to be a trading of the hands. So one, two, three, four. You can follow in and do the other stuff. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. Try it on your own. I talked for too long.